obviously we've come out on the wrong side of the result um, but it doesn't necessarily feel like from the game that we've been beaten you know obviously we were well aware of uh, the situation with the first innings total being you know the, the dominant sort of score um, but yeah equally I mean if we fought hard to stay in the game um, and we felt like we had a really good shot coming in today. We felt like we could take 10 wickets, create 10 chances. Um, we knew it was a good wicket. You know, we knew it was going to be be tough going today. Um, but we felt we had the skill within our bowling attack to, to take the 10 wickets we needed. Um, and I felt we were close to doing that. You know, a couple more um, half chances that might have gone to hand, and and you never know. Um, but it wasn't obviously meant to be. And I felt it was a very tight game. Um, it ebbed and flowed. As, as I say, we sort of we scrapped really hard in the first innings, and then you know they were sort of 200 for one, and you know we managed to stay in the game at halfway. And with two days to go, you know we felt there was a lot of time, a lot of cricket to be played, and you know we still felt confident of a result. Um, but yeah, I guess we didn't quite have the time to, to force the result today. But the bowlers gave it everything they got on a pretty unresponsive strip of turf. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I can't speak highly enough of those boys' efforts. Um, right throughout the game, they've been fantastic and running all day, giving absolutely everything. I mean, Louis there at the end, you know, bowled a massive spell. Um, so it's tough to take, you know, because they gave everything, you know, as did everyone in the side. Um, but it just wasn't quite enough. Um, as I say, I, I felt like there were times when we really had to work hard to sort of stay in the game and then I felt, you know, we got ourselves in a, a really dominant position in the game but couldn't quite sort of force that result. Given that, that this could be the shape of things to come, a, a county championship final at Laws, do you think it's a satisfactory way of settling it to do it on, uh, on first innings lead, given that you know, coming into this final you'd scored more points than any other county? Not really. I mean, I don't think that it's sort of just run. Um, you know, there's no excuse for it. We came second, we lost to arguably the better side and I thought it was a really good game. You know, it's two very evenly matched sides. Um, I mean, I would say, I'm a, I've said it before, I'm a big advocate of the county championship. I think, you know, over the course of, sort of 14, 16 games, the best team will win. And I guess in a final, I guess it comes down to whoever plays better in, the, in that game. But as I say, I think we're two very close sides. On our day, I'd still, I'd still back us to beat Essex, but you know we haven't quite performed to the best of our ability this week, and and you know ultimately we've come out second. It's uh, second. It's the fourth time you've come runners up in the in the last five years. That that must really hurt. Of course, it doesn't get any easier. You know, it's it was certainly heartache last year, sort of coming so close, um, and that's you know a very similar emotion this year. I think. We're obviously doing a lot of things really well. There's been some real positive things to come out this year, and you know I'm very proud of the group. I think we gave it a real good crack, and you know we weren't far off winning this game. Let's be honest, and we've got to trust trust what we're doing, stick to what we're doing. I think they're a quality side. You know they've got some great players, and we're very close. You know we can't get away from that. I think um, we just got to trust what we're doing, and you know I'm fully confident that that we can sort of get that first place that we all crave.